Fear Not, episode 139. Hi, I'm Billy Atwell, and I believe that consistently facing your fears is the only way to realize your truest self and to make those confident choices that will help you to obtain your deepest held hopes and dreams. I have faith that this podcast series will show you that you are not alone, that it will strengthen you and give you courage to face your fears, and that it will help you to permanently cross over into a life of living beyond your fears. Join me on this journey as we listen and learn from others as they share their experiences in facing and overcoming their own fears. Hello, everybody. Today, you and I are going to be joined by Wesley Boggess. Welcome, Wesley. How are you today? I'm doing fine, Billy. How are you? I'm doing well, thank you. Are you ready to fear not today? Yes, sir. Absolutely. Wesley was a collegiate golfer for the Appalachian State University in North Carolina, as well as a distinguished military graduate. She received her regular Army commission into the Medical Service Corps in May 1994. She served as a treatment platoon leader, a medical company executive officer, and combat health support officer as a lieutenant in the 101st Airborne Division. After graduating on the commandant's list from the Combined Logistics Officer Advanced Course, the now captain served as the adjutant and personal officer for the 2nd Infantry Division Support Command in the Republic of Korea. She resigned her active duty commission in 1999, but continued her military service in the United States Army Reserves and the Individual Ready Reserves until 2004. Wesley is currently the author of the recently published God, Country, Golf. Wesley, can you take a few moments to fill in those gaps and maybe also give us a brief glimpse of your personal life? Well, thank you. Um, this book is titled God, Country, Golf. It is um, my love note to God and country, my thank you note to the game of golf. Uh, as I look back and reflect on my life, um, if I had to name three things that, that shaped my character and gave me strength over the years, the, that would be um, God, country, and golf. The lessons I learned in church, in the Army, and on the golf course shaped my character and, and gave me strength. Would you also share with us today one of the biggest fears that you've had to face? Well, um, in in my adult life, uh, in my military service, I will tell you I've I've gotten to do some pretty amazing things. I got to jump out of airplanes and and um, serve my country and and shoot weapons on the firing range. Um, but I think one of my biggest fears lately um, is. Uh, I guess, acceptance. Um, in, in writing this book and in telling our story, I felt led by God himself to, to share our story and, and actually put this into a book. And, and at that moment, when you, when you hit send, when you send the manuscript into the publisher, there's a little bit of fear there, a little bit of, uh, I'm telling our story. These are very personal moments. And you know, how will that be received? And um, so I think that's a little bit of of what I'm going through right now. So how are you dealing with that? Well, I um, at that moment, uh, right before I pushed send um, to send the manuscript into the publisher, I I prayed and I I asked God to to go with the manuscript. And and basically, I gave the manuscript over to God and I said, this is yours. Um, This is your book. Take it where you want it to go. Um, and so I just told God, you know, if he leads, I will follow. And, and so right now I'm just leaning on him. I'm leaning on, um, the fact that he is the master of my destiny. He gives me strength and, um, Philippians 4:13 in the Bible says I can do all things through Christ who strength strengthens me. And, um, and I think that's, you know, so my fear is, a little bit, just putting my life out there uh, within the pages of this book. And but how I how I remedy that is um, just with scripture from the Bible and leaning on God and leaning on Jesus and and know that they are fully in control. I don't mean to presume, but I'm going to assume that this is how you handle fear in general whenever it comes to you. I think so. I think so. I just I, I have a boost of confidence and a and I I rest assured knowing that. God has a plan for all of us, and um, and that doesn't necessarily mean that that plan is is perfect and lovely and nothing will ever go wrong. 
Um, so I think, you know, I'm a, I'm a, I guess a fine example of, you know, bad things do happen to good people. Uh, we lost my husband in 2007. He was serving with the 82nd Airborne Division out of Fort Bragg, North Carolina, deployed to Afghanistan and um, in, in 2007. And um, on four, the 14th of May, he went with his commander and leadership from Afghanistan and, and the United States into Pakistan for a peace meeting. And by all accounts, the meeting was successful. Um, it was an, an historic meeting uh, with the, the leadership from all three countries reaching an agreement and shaking hands and posing for pictures and exchanging coins. And, um, and they, they've had a really great moment that was, um, that was shattered, actually, when a uniformed Pakistani frontier guardsman um, who had the mission of providing security for our men instead raised his rifle and opened fire and Larry was standing between the shooter and his men, and he gave his life protecting his men. And um, and so going back to the original point, you know, God doesn't promise us a perfect life <clears throat> where things don't go wrong, um, but he has given me the tools and he has given me the confidence and the courage to drive on um, in spite of our loss and um, and drive on in a way that my husband Larry would expect us to. In addition to your faith and scriptures from the Bible, do you have other resources that help you to face your fear that you might be able to share with us today that, you know, that we might be able to incorporate into our own lives? Right. Well, the best answer to that um, may surprise a few people, but that's the game of golf. Um, I, I learned how to play golf when I was nine years old with my grandfather on the golf course. And, um, and he taught me the fundamentals of golf, the, the physical nature of it, the swing and stance and grip. But he also taught me the history of golf, um, the, the uh, etiquette and um, the values that go with it. And, um, and so I learned a lot about myself, um, a, lot of, uh, a lot about perseverance and integrity and respect on the golf course with my grandfather. And um, and it, it takes um, a fair amount of courage to play golf and, and hit the ball over a, a big lake and put it right on the green. And, um, and so I, I draw um, from those, those lessons and those golf values um, in my everyday life. And another example is my military service. Um, Army values are taught to every soldier, and, and those stand for loyalty, duty, respect, selfless service honor, integrity, and personal courage. And, um, and I write in the book several physical trials that I had um, as a cadet in the ROTC program at Appalachian and, and pretty significant, pretty tough, tough things that I had to go through. And, and I draw upon those lessons and I think, well, I made it through some pretty significant army training um, back in the day. And so I, I draw upon those experiences um, as I as I go through and, and as I mentioned earlier, I got to go to airborne school um, in the army and you know learning how to jump out of an airplane. You put a lot of faith and confidence in your training, and for me particularly, I put a lot of faith and confidence in God that He would um, help me out of the aircraft, actually deploy my parachute so it would work and, and get to the ground safely. So I've had several several moments of challenges and trials and. And I've made it, made it through all of them so I can rest on those experiences and, and go forward with confidence that, um, that I can get through just about anything that life offers. Are you ready for the speed round? Yes, sir. <laughs> I think so. <laughs> what individual, whether fiction or real, has made the most impact on your life? My grandfather, Grandpa Burton. And if you could instantly change one thing in the world, what would you change? Um, I would change uh, war. I would change violence. Um, I would wish for a, a peaceful world. And what's your biggest weakness? Oh, my goodness. My, bu uh, my biggest weakness... Um, honestly, I would say delegation. I, I need to, I feel like I'm a good leader, um, but I often feel like I have to do everything myself. So um, I think one of my weaknesses is, uh, is being able to delegate tasks or um, 
activities to other people. What's your biggest strength? Um, <laughs> I would say compassion, um, just a tender heart for other people. And if you could only have one book to read, what's that book going to be? The Bible. Do you have a favorite sound? My favorite sound is um, the sound of a purely hit golf ball. And, um, and I can tell you, there is, there is a sound. You can, you can tell when somebody mishits it, but you can tell when somebody hits it perfectly. And I just I love that sound. <laughs> and Wesley, if someone would like to connect with you, what's the best way for them to do that? They, uh, they can find us at godcountrygolf.com. Um, they can also connect with me on Facebook at also at God Country Golf uh, Reflections of an Army Widow. We have a book page out there, and they can message me that way, um, and I would love to hear from you. And what parting advice would you like to leave with us today? Well, I would say um, go forward with confidence, um, trust in the Lord, And um, with the proper perspective, and in my case, it's God Country Golf, I feel like you you can get through anything that that life brings to you. That's great advice, and thank you so much. And I want to let everyone know, too, that Wesley has generously donated a copy of her book, God Country Golf, that we'll be giving away. So if you would like an opportunity to win, visit the giveaways page at livingbeyondyourfears.com and submit your printer form today. Wesley, I want to thank you so much for coming on the show today, spending some time with us, sharing your wisdom and your story of fear and your faith today. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much, Billy. I'm delighted to be here. Thank you so much. Thank you for joining me today. And remember, you cannot achieve everything, but you do have the God-given ability to achieve anything. So stay focused, out of fear, and keep on keeping on. Until next time, be well and peaceful. For more information on today's episode and guest, or for resources that will assist you in overcoming your fears, visit livingbeyondyourfears.com. And don't forget to subscribe to this podcast, where three times a week we move to a life beyond our fears.